All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my PC video slash best free PC software for 2020. And you're going to want to make sure you guys stay to the end because there's definitely one software here that you guys don't know about or that you might need that's for free. So make sure you guys watch to the end. And before we switch over to my PC, uh, make sure you guys go down, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. And now we're going to switch right over to the PC. All right, guys, we are now on my PC and I'm going to be showing you like what is the best free software that you could pick up totally free. Most stuff's totally free. Most of it. There's two things I go over that are not actually free, but I have alternatives to them. So just wait to see what those are. But first thing I'm going to go over is like my desktop customization. So like how I customize my desktop. See how I have this taskbar down here and this wallpaper right here that's moving and stuff like that. But first one thing I wanted to tell you guys is just a few easy things that most people know, but if you right click on your desktop, you can go here, you can change your icons, all this stuff. You can auto range icons, I suggest that. For my videos, I usually turn off show desktop icons. It looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. So I just uh, completely shut that off. So it looks nice and clean, but those are just some easy things you can do to really customize your display. Next thing we're going to go to is the first thing on the list of free soft or this is not free actually, but I use wallpaper engine to choose my wallpapers. Now there's a bunch of different wallpapers you can get here. Yeah. So there's a bunch of different wallpapers here that you can pick up all down low. This is $4 though on steam wallpaper engines, $4 on steam. But if you want an alternative, lively is a good alternative to a uh, wallpaper engine. So I've, I've not used lively myself but I've heard many good things from it. You can get live wallpapers, cool wallpapers and stuff like that. So check out Lively if you want a free version of Wallpaper Engine. If not, $4 on Steam, you can pick up Wallpaper Engine. The next thing is actually really easy to pick up. My, see my taskbar down here is not the normal color. It's like it's this cool like blur fade kind of thing. Anyways, you go to search down here and you can go to the Microsoft store right here, guys. So, and then this will open up if I take a second to open up. All right, so you come up to the search, you guys can type in translucent, you see right here, translucent TB. I already own it obviously, but you'll click on that guys. And it'll take a second to load and you can download this, it's completely free and you can, it helps you customize your taskbar. So once you have it installed, you can go down here and you'll see it right here. Right click on that and then there's a bunch of different things you can change. So there's a bunch of these different options you can change them. Like I have my, my taskbar right now is on fluent and you can change it to opaque, which is that you can change it to normal, which will just be back to like your normal, like color, kind of darkened colored look and then clear. Look at, there's no taskbar at all right there. A lot of people like that look. So you can go with that, but I, go with the fluent look. So that's my favorite one right there. And lastly, for like desktop customization type stuff, I have f.lux, which is, um, helps like reduce the strain on your eyes when you're on your PC. So let's see if I can open this up here. Oh, here we go. So it's opened up now and see like you can, like I have this set up to my time zone for when I wake up and stuff like that. And yeah, so you can like change like change the color of your desktop if you want it super bright there. I have mine. I think I have mine set on one reduce eye strain. I'm pretty sure. So we have that set up right there. So yeah, that's it for um, desktop cus customization. But now we're going to get into kind of the more cool stuff in my opinion. But we're gonna get into like video slash photo editing type stuff like that. So. The first, obviously, as you can see over here, I use OBS. I can drive OBS onto my screen really quickly, actually. And you'll see this little vortex thing going on. But yeah, so OBS is a free screen recorder. So if you want to play video, if you want to stream, you can do that. If you want to play video games, record them. Right here, you have all these options. So yeah, I'm not going to show you guys in depth tutorial how to use OBS in this video, but there are tons of videos out there, trust me. I use them all the time, but yeah, so that's OBS 
for you guys really quickly. The next one I'm going to have for you is down here. It's DaVinci Resolve. Now this is my photo or my video editor and I'll open this up really quickly. Alright guys, we're now in DaVinci Resolve and I have this, um, it's my last video. Go to the top of the card to check it out if you guys want. But So this is my last video and obviously look at all these, like there's a bunch of different stuff you can go through. Um, I'm going to mute this audio really quickly. But yeah, so there's tons of different like settings and stuff as you can see over here, over here. Tons of different tutorials out there on YouTube of DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, check this out guys. There's a bunch of different settings like you can go down here. DaVinci Resolve is known for its color correction tab. Like you can do a lot of good color correction in here. I do not do any. I need to learn how to do color correction. But a lot of people do use this for color correction. A lot of people use it for all these different. There's a bunch of different these tabs at the bottom here. Like this right here, people make intros with this and stuff right here. But yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys that as that's how I edit my videos. Very important tool for free, completely for free. There is a paid version, but in my opinion, you do not need that. So yeah, that is all I'm going to show you for that. All right, now I'm going to get on to photo editors. So as you can see down here, I use Photoshop for editing my thumbnails and stuff like that. Photoshop in general is great, I love it. This is not a free product, however. It is very expensive from the Adobe, Adobe Suite. So I do not recommend, if you want it for free, I would, do not recommend getting it, but there is ways you can get it for free. But an alternative to that is right here, it's called GIMP, which I used to use this back in the day, and I'm still considering maybe using it now too. But this, there's a lot of good tutorials online about this. GIMP, pick it up right here, free download as you can see. GIMP.org, and it's a really good um, photo editor that's um, used by many people, a lot of tutorials online. Check it out if you guys want a photo editor like that. Next, I have right here, down here at the bottom, which is Inkscape, which I use this for when I do vector design every once in a while, so you can make vector images with this which is really nice for stuff that um, you want to scale up and down and not lose resolution for like logos and stuff like that so yeah this is Inkscape there's tons of different stuff as well as GIMP and DaVinci Resolve there's tons of tutorials online how to use it and it's a really fun application that I like to use completely free and I use it for stuff every once in a while so next we have audacity which i am using right now actually oops let me just throw it on the screen so this is audacity right here i use it to record my audio for my videos and you can edit audio as well in here effects tab there's lots of tutorials online like i've said with every other free product on here tutorials online on how to use audacity how to edit um, audio and everything like that so Guys, if you want to record your audio and be able to edit it nicely, I suggest picking up Audacity, guys. So go check that out after this video, after you guys finish watching this video. And the final one I have here, guys, for you is this guy right here. If you click on this little thing down here, it's right here. It is called Light Shot right here. So it is a screenshot server or free screenshot software, guys. <laughs> so it's really nice you can when you click on it right here you can go to the options tab right here you can change I like the fact that you can just use a hotkey and when you're using it like I use my mine is shift tab right so I use shift tab it will like pause your screen everything and you can make a you can select an area and you guys can't see this on OBS for some reason but I would be able to select an area take a screenshot and save it you can edit with Lightshot. I suggest picking it up guys. It's a really nice screenshot tool especially for if you're making YouTube videos and stuff like that. So now we're gonna get into those are the main good software that I suggest to all you guys and now before the end of this video I'm gonna just throw in a few random things that I use and a lot of other people use as well. So right here CC Cleaner. I use this to clean my PC and it will open up right here and, and you just press no and you can do a clean for your computer 
it will tell you it wants you to upgrade to pro but you do not need to upgrade you can do a clean PC health check all this good stuff so I suggest using this to clean your PC every once in a while and then right here of course I use this is Google Chrome Google Chrome is great I suggest picking it up if you guys do not use Google Chrome I highly suggest you guys use it a lot of people do it is a great it is a great browser highly suggest it and lastly I have right down here I use discord for communicating with my friends talking to people get discord it's a free communication service like Skype like TeamSpeak. I don't know if those are still around but I've been using discord for a long time now and I highly suggest it so if you guys have any other software that you guys use that's completely free let me know down in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching